Welcome to Edge Kids. Hello, welcome to Edge Kids. My name is Lisa and I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Now today is our final message for our series called This Is My Worship. And today we're gonna be bringing it all together with showing us how we can worship God with our everything. Can you say everything? everything. Now, I know that for me, it has been life changing to truly understand that every single part of my life, even the boring, not so fun parts of my life, can actually be worshipped to God. We can truly worship God in everything that we do. So we're going to hear a bit more about that soon. But before we do, you should know the song by now. So I want you to stand up, join in the dance and think about the lyrics as you're singing along today. So let's go for it. but you've started to really think about the words of that song. Now, instead of singing the words, I'm actually gonna just slow us down and read the words to you. And I want you to think about, are these words actually true for me? These words that we've been singing about over the last eight episodes, are they really real for me? Do I really have a heart towards God to worship Him in everything that I do? All right, these are the lyrics. It says, this is my worship in my singing, in my praying, in my giving, in my serving, in my loving, in my living. I will keep my eyes on your mercy. It's God's love, His grace that He shows us. And I will give my all because you saved me. It's pretty powerful words. As you might know, and as you might have worked out by now, those words have come from a response to Romans 12 verse 1, which has been a key verse for us over this whole series, showing us that when we truly understand God's love and His mercy, that we will want to worship Him in our everything. Romans 12 1 says, So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work and walking around life and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. I love that this version lists out everyday random things that we can do. And a few weeks ago when I asked you, what is worship? Most of you responded that worship is the songs that we sing at church. And you're not wrong with that, but I'm hoping that by now you've realised that worship is so much more than just singing. Worship can be our everything. Can I get you to say everything? Everything. Now, how can something like going to school or making your bed or helping your parents, how could that be worship? If we choose to look at what we're doing and start to think, ah, oh, Imagine if I was doing this for Jesus. Imagine if He was the one that asked me to do this. Then we could start to shift our attitude from, oh, I have to do this, to actually I get to do this. Jesus, I'm so thankful that I even have a bed to make in the first place. We can be so thankful to God and worship God in our everything in that way. You know what? We can go, I can do this for you, Jesus. I can do this with a good attitude. Now, I want you to think about something that you don't like doing. Maybe it's something that you just think, that's a waste of time or that's boring. Maybe it's something that your parents or teachers ask you to do. Do you know what? For me, 
One of those examples is picking up rubbish. I didn't put it there. It's not my problem. I don't need to pick it up. Do you know what? That's been something that God's challenged me on. If I'm outside and I see rubbish on the ground, there's rubbish everywhere. Do I just walk past it and go, not mine. I didn't make it. I'm not going to pick it up. Or do I go, you know what? If worshipping Jesus is my everything, it could be worship to pick up rubbish, even if no one's looking. These are the sorts of things that even if we don't like doing it, they can be things that we go, God, even this, even picking up rubbish and putting it in the bin, even that could be worship to you. In the Bible, it says in Colossians 3, verse 16 to 17, it says, sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Everything you say, everything you do should all be done for Jesus, your Lord. And in all you do, give thanks to God the Father through Jesus. All right, now I want you to think about something that you love doing. You thought about the other one, but now something that you love doing. For me, I love paddle boarding. I don't know if you've even heard of paddle boarding. It's like surfing, but you've got a paddle, you're on the ocean, that's it, whoa, there's a wave, but then you surf the wave. I'm getting better at surfing the waves. Paddle boarding, it is so much fun. Do you know what? I can worship God even when I'm paddle boarding. That's something that when I'm in those spaces doing something I love, I can be going, God, I love you. I worship you, God, you're the best. We can worship God in even the boring, the things we don't really like doing, but we can worship God even in the spaces of what we love doing. And I want to encourage you, we're bringing it all together. Every single thing that we do can be worshipped to God. I love how that verse in Romans 12, 1 tells us we bring it before God as an offering. Everything that we do, we go, God, my life is yours. My getting up, my every day. God, I bring my life before you. God, use me however you want. May my life be worshipped for you. So if that's your heart, if that's really your heart and you go, yes, I want my whole life, my everything to be worshipped to God. I just want you to put your hand up right now. Amazing. All right, I'm going to pray for you. God, I thank you that our whole lives can be worshipped to you. God, I thank you that even just the mundane, the day-to-day -day things, God, every element can be worshipped to you. And we remember all that you've done for us, God, our overflow is to worship you in our everything. Jesus, I thank you that when we look to the cross, when we fix our eyes on your mercies, on everything that you've done for us, God, we choose to give our all to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. That's the end of this series. And I want us to remember all of these things that we learnt, we don't do them so God loves us. We do them because God loves us. God loves you so much, so, so, so much. All right, guys, we'll see you next time for a brand new series. See ya.